Hello, my friends. My name is Jani, and this is going to be a, a whip recount, a whip parade, because um, sometimes um, as teachers ask me how many whips I have, and I honestly don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's the truth. And last week I make an, a, a live video here in YouTube in Spanish and I was trying to count my whips but after almost two hours <laughs> I lost track and, and you know I, I never really intend to, to count my whips but I, I really want to know you know just for fun perhaps and also I always say you know uh, I love all my whips I want to stitch them all <laughs> someday <laughs> but the good thing once you take all your whips out and start to look at them you start to realize that that's not always true you know that you love all your whips and you want to finish all of them so at least that happened to me <laughs> I <laughs> I start looking, you know, um, perhaps I could uh, get rid of this uh, project and that's also a good thing because of course our taste uh, change uh, through the years so it's natural that you, you change your uh, preference. I have all my, my whips, my project bags in, in boxes and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven boxes. And well, eight, because also I have some kits that of course that are fully kitted and ready to start. So I'm counting that as whips too. So allow me that. <laughs> okay, let's see, uh, let's start. Okay, first, um, this is by Owl Forest Embroidery. Um, I'm not sure the name in English or in Spanish for that matter, but I really love it. And McKenna, it's, uh, she's working on this sampler, so I am really, really like it. And I got this uh, directly from Russia uh, last year, but you can get uh, these kits with McKenna. At her store, it's 1984 stitchery. Yeah, <laughs> so there are lovely, lovely kits, and you have all the materials. So, yeah, this is the first one. Hey! <laughs> the second one, I call this the Frog Princess, also a kit that I got uh, last year. And with all the materials, I love the colors, yeah. And I haven't uh, seen this uh, project stitched. Uh, I mean, in in Russian uh, sites or Instagrams, uh, the Russian stitcher had already stitched her and it's really, really pretty. Okay, I have some dimension kit. Uh, this is Petit Gold Collection. Here is a... A big hello to, to Luda, who is a wonderful stitcher and she loves Dimension and she makes all these beautiful um, projects. So I got this and <coughs> this is Dreaming of Tuscany and it's a uh, appetit. I'm, I have never uh, finished a, a Dimension kit. Um, and I got uh, two two kits this this year, two new kits. So this is in my future. And this one, my husband really liked it. Uh, so yeah, really classic. And Another one. I love this. I love the colors and so pretty. And so uh, I'm so afraid to to start this because um, yeah, <laughs> it feels so challenging. Um, so this is a summer bouquet and it's again from a uh, gold collection. Um, 
I was at uh, the store here in a city uh, in Puebla, Mexico, and they have a lot of, of dimension kits, and I fell in love with this. I, I was looking from precisely one that Luda stitch, and but I love this one, so yeah. <coughs> now my um, Riolis kit, um, this I ordered this year. Uh, this came with acrylic uh, yarn, but I really love this design. So this is uh, the lady with the fan. This one is the keys. Again, uh, the kit uh, came with the acrylic uh, yarn and uh, Aida 14, which I don't mind. I, I love Aida. Um, so yeah, I probably also wanted <laughs> to start this. And the last one from Riolis is um, Motherly Love, also for from Klim. Um, and this one I already started, so yeah, finally I can show you and actually whip. So this is my my project, and it it was an interesting uh, experience to stitch with with the acrylic yarn. It's really puffy. <laughs> Perhaps in the other two kits, I will use just one uh, thread because it's really, really full and it looks pretty, but I'm not used to get my cro crosses so uh, puffy. <laughs> I like more uh, light crosses, but uh, I, I really love the, the image. and. So yeah, <laughs> this is the first actually whip but I count the, the other kit sets as, as whip also. Finally, from, from kids, uh, this is my Gecko Rouge. Yeah, <laughs> and I haven't started. I really wanted to, to start it, but I needed to, to stop a little thing <laughs> really well what to do. And I was watching um, Teresa from Little Stitches and she made these beautiful uh, videos like tutorials how to start a full coverage uh, project and it's so helpful <laughs> thank you my dear and yeah I'm going to to follow many of her tips and advice so I can uh, you know uh, start my project properly so this is um, um, Cosmic Lover, and yeah, I love it, I love it. So I'm, you know, uh, mentally preparing for my <laughs> for my first uh, Gecko Rouge kit. But yeah, it, in not a particular order. Um, this is um, a Mirabilia. Uh, it's a uh, Venetian opulence and I start her two years ago I, and I haven't stitched uh, a lot <laughs> just you know for I start this as part of my stitch mania start I, I did stitch mania uh, one year and that was enough for me <laughs> a lot of pressure so, and of course I have to stitch uh, her beautiful face. And it's funny because after I start uh, Venetian Opulence, I, you know, I, I work in a lot of, of other mira, miras. And I finish um, Gypsy Queen and I feel like she's very similar, you know, to, to this.
so I feel like I already <laughs> stitched Venetian, but yeah, I, I need to, to focus on her again. Let me show you. Do, 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 do. A sleeping princess. Also from from Mira again, just the face, and again uh, another um, stitch mania start. I feel the pressure it was pure pressure. Back <laughs> and another Mira. Uh, this is three forty. And I start this. A lot of years ago, <laughs> many many years ago, and I love the design. And the fabric is uh, a Jobelan uh, 28, and yeah, <laughs> that's it. Here's another bag. <laughs> this is, of course, Zelda. Oh, I have a scissor here. I usually lost my scissors because I put them in my project bag and then I forgot. Um, this is a beautiful Zelda. Which I am um, kind of focused on. I have been stitching her here and there and I I have a little accident with her because I did all this stitching part and I, I like to work uh, by color you know all, all uh, one color at a time so I first the the faces which I love and then you know, by colors and, and that's it. But I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I skip a full road in in her waist. So I'm going to have to fudge. But that kind of mistakes always like uh, put you, you know, <laughs> a little uh, sad and you don't want to, to keep going with certain projects. Once you know you have to be um, taking care of your mistakes because there is no way I'm going to <laughs> frog the face or the skirt so I have to fudge it in the center <laughs> I have another um, another Mira of course <laughs> this is Aphrodite which I start last year and Oddly enough, I don't have a face here. <laughs> I start with the tail and, you know, uh, doing a little of the uh, outline. So it's easier for me to fill the spaces. I always try to find that uh, uh, main color uh, and then um, filling the, the rest of the colors. That's why I made a mistake in Zelda. <laughs> But <laughs> hope for the best. And in this one, I'm I'm really trying to make a, a clean uh, back, but <laughs> it's not. Usually, that is not the case with with my stitching. And who cares? <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is a piece of um, Lugana, Lugana 28 that I dyed, and I really like it. So yeah, this is a beautiful. Uh, a beautiful mermaid and the colors are really stunning mm. I usually don't keep my my patterns uh, with the project back I put it in my stash and I work with uh, working copies and this one I keep it here and the the picture was in in contact with the vinyl so it got like a spot so a bit sad about it <laughs> okay let's make it interesting
Let's start with some chats, with some chat lines. Um, uh, a favorite of the people, <laughs> it's uh, Misty Morning, which I work uh, on this year, and I finish all this border, all this part of the border, and until until here i need to to finish the rest uh, but yeah i really really love it and the colors and everything and it's a shutter line so there is not uh, there is nothing to 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 not love <laughs> about <laughs> Uh, Martina's um, uh, designs. I mean, other than they are huge and sometimes a little complex, but they are a joy to stitch. And the fact that you slowly uh, create these uh, pieces of, of art and all the texture and I remember the, the movie, the texture of it. You know what movie? <laughs> the smell of it. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, that's the first of my chat lines. Okay, another another project, another bag. Another day. This is Japanese garden. Yeah, I have only stitched the the central motif. I mean, <laughs> there are a lot to stitch, and in this one I'm using a conversion from Vicky Clayton silks. Unfortunately, they are um, not available anymore. I mean, you can buy them or with uh, particular uh, stitchers, but yeah, she used to to sell the the conversion kits for Martina's uh, designs. Okay, another uh, chat line. This is uh, Vegetables uh, King's Garden. And again, I'm using uh, Vicky Clayton uh, conversions. And I, I changed the center of, the, of this design and I put, you know, crystals and um, beads of what I wanted <laughs> so yeah I here I'm still need to stitch all the corners so and and Kosiek uh, finished uh, this design um, last year I I think and it's it's amazing I, I mean I, I love her her piece so yeah this is my my vegetables King's Garden the, the fabric is a uh, cashel 28 and it was a piece it's a solo from silk weaver if i'm correct <laughs> so yeah and with uh martina you have to to put a mark in the top of the fabric because easily you can while you are stitching you can you know misplay the direction of the crosses so <laughs> you have to to mark the top uh, part of the of the fabric so you don't make a mistake i mean you can make a lot of mistakes but <laughs> not uh, according to the orientation okay this is another kit well it's um another chat line i i got this as full kit from European European cross stitch uh, site and this is the Japanese octagon box and I got this with a piece of, of um, Belfast 32 this is part of the of the size of this of the box and I, I um, receive a notification because now uh, European cross stitch uh, uh, had uh, the instruction for the finish uh, 
the finishing instruction for the box so yeah um, <laughs> it's a bad idea when you <laughs> get a project and you put the year because <laughs> you could finish uh, 20 years later <laughs> but yeah um, this is the the octagon box, Japanese octagon box, and I probably will order the finishing instructions from European cross stitch. So yeah, another bag, another project. This is uh, the Tak Mahal mandala. A really, really popular uh, Martina design. I. It's uh, it's frustrating uh, not being able to to picture the <laughs> you know the the sparkle in the center, but it's beautiful. And this is another project that I'm um, using the Vicky Clayton uh, conversion. So I got the the silks. Well, uh, back when I, <laughs> I ordered the, the silks from her, they are really, really pr uh, pretty. <laughs> and I was reading that perhaps you will need more because uh, in some places you will have uh, not enough uh, material, but I hope that is not the case because I wouldn't know where to to find, um, you know, the, the again, the silks, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully everything will be just fine. So yeah, this is uh, Tak Mahal, and it's uh, stitched in a piece of um, Belfast 32. Yeah. Another box, another project. This is gorgeous and huge. <laughs> uh, White Knights of St. Petersburg, um, stitched in a piece of um, spruce blue linen, and I love it. <laughs> and this is one of those projects that I wish I didn't have to go to work every day. <laughs> And could you know focus on this it's gorgeous it's one of my um, favorite uh, Martina designs um, all the details and all you know the, the luxury it's really really uh, translating here in these designs all the crystals all, all the metallics all all the little details the specialty stitches they they look amazing in this in this design. I mean I I know all uh, Martina's designs are beautiful, but in this <laughs> in this one in a special, um, all the details are so so gorgeous. I love this so much. This is a uh, medieval town mandala. Uh, it's upside down. <laughs> I'm stitching this. I just start this and didn't stitch much, but I'm stitching this in a piece of 25 Lugana. So it's going to be a big girl like me. Yeah, big girls. And <laughs> I'm using a conversion of, of uh, the, the flosses. I'm using DMC, Anchor, some flosses that I dyed, and the the beading is, um, you know, this is not delicas or mill heels. the the bead The beads are uh, national beads, so they are more irregular and big. So, but I I thought you know one, it's going to work because the fabric is bigger, so it's going to be you know, <laughs> a little more dramatic and chunky. <laughs> and this is another uh, chatterline. This is Alpine 
Seasons. Um, this is stitched in a piece of uh, opalescent Lugana uh, 28 and I think it was a silk weaver solo and in this project again I'm using a conversion with TMC and anchors and the, the beading is um, national so it's really big and chunky and pretty <laughs> so yeah I, I really really love this okay <laughs> another box um, this is um, my this is a heaven and earth project this one is beloved This is a uh, Heaven and Air project. This is um, Beloved by Adele Sessler. And I'm stitching this in a piece of uh, Lugana 28. I'm doing a 10th stitch with two, with two flosses. Uh, so yeah, it's a learning process. <laughs> I'm still struggling a little, but we, we'll get there, we'll get there. So yeah. Another bag and another not started project, but um, I consider it my whip. <laughs> this is Christmas Garden by Blackbird Design from the book Home for the Holidays. And I am just uh, have the, the flosses. I'm going to use uh, uh, anchor flosses and a piece of fabric that I coffee dyed and bake it and give it a little love <laughs> and it's gorgeous and yeah <laughs> ready for a start and I, I'm thinking that I'm consider considering this not um, you know as, as part of my whips because if I start them it's not like a new start but as a whip <laughs> as working on my whips so yeah um, Christmas garden, another whip. Even though I haven't started, I don't care. It's a whip. And in the same category, <laughs> Feliz Navidad by um, Blackbird. And I was um, watching uh, Michelle uh, Farm Girl, and she's making a beautiful sampler. And here is my materials. I'm going to use a 40 count country mocha and the colors are from um, Anchor. I'm making a little conversion so yeah <laughs> another whip <laughs> ready to work on so yeah another project is Quaker Diamond by Rosewood Manor. In this project I'm using these beautiful uh, flosses that Cindy sent me. Uh, these are Victorian model sampler shop and I really want to use these beautiful colors and I dyed this uh, piece of fabric and yeah there are very I am channeling my Emily <laughs> eclectic possession you know vibes <laughs> in colors and uh, I make this this conversion but yeah I really really love it so we'll see I, I really need to to give this a little more love so don't you love the fabric oh so pretty <laughs> another project is uh, the mystery sal by linen and thread This was from the year uh, 2017 and I'm just uh, stitching, you know, the, the central uh, part, but I'm using a, a fabric, not especially for cross stitch, but I can't count the, the, the threads, so <laughs> I'm using it. and. 
but I really, really like it. And it's going to be a big uh, project because the, the, the count in this not cross stitch fabric, <laughs> it's really big. It's like, uh, like uh, either 11, I think the equivalent, a little larger perhaps. But yeah, my, my uh, linen and thread 2017 um, mystery sampler. And let me show you the colors because sometimes uh, they ask me and I really don't remember. These are um, anchor flosses, is 232. Uh, A48 and 933 and I have a darker one A850 so yeah four colors <laughs> we are um, going to start with those projects that I mean I really like it but something has has changed <laughs> and I'm not quite sure, but yeah, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. This is uh, Florali by Papillon Creation. And I'm stitching this in a, in a opalescent uh, Belfast. I just start <laughs> the central motif here, you know, just a few um, stitches. And I'm using a uh, Gloriana silk, which is a, a really, really pretty. Uh, the color is deep blue sea. And yeah, but I mean, I really love the design <laughs> and I really love everything. But I don't know, I feel like it's a little, a little blah. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to keep a stitching uh, like this or perhaps I started again with um, something else or I used this fabric in another project I don't know again I'm starting to <laughs> to have second thoughts in in this part of, of my my whips so yeah this okay this is another project this is Enchanted Fairy by Passione Ricamo And yeah, I again I don't have a face here, so <laughs> I don't feel connected <laughs> with this project in particular. Um, the the designs from Passione Ricamo um, are really really pretty. I haven't uh, seen these designs a lot. It uh, they have more uh, popularity uh, years before, but. Yeah, um, this is a piece of uh, 28, uh, most certainly a, a solo from Silk Weaver. And I, I remember I substitute the, the metallics and some of the colors, you know, but yeah, <laughs> again, um, I really like the design. It's very pretty, but not feeling, you know, really connected with. <laughs> also from Passione Ricamo, the Queen of Fairies. A lovely design, which <laughs> I make a huge mistake and I didn't um, place the, the, the stitching part you know, according to the fabric, so I want to have enough fabric for the dress. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, this is a, a piece of um, uh, fabric from, I, I'm not sure it's from sugar maple fabrics or or silk weaver, but really, really pretty. And it's more like a, a mermaid type of, of uh, fabric, but I choose it for this pretty, this beauty, <laughs> which now, because of me, couldn't have, um, she, she won't have her dress complete. 
So I don't know. I perhaps you know I could stitch uh, until the fabric <laughs> doesn't or, or or allowed me. I don't know. But yeah, it's really really sad. <laughs> Uh, this is a uh, guardian angel and this was supposed to be a, a gift for my mother but that's all I have <laughs> and I, I, I just couldn't stitch more I, I mean it's not something that I really like it and I don't know <laughs> I feel a little overwhelmed and yeah, I couldn't stitch. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Um, this is a piece of, of linen, but it's really loose. It's really open. It's supposed to be a, a 28, but it feels looser. And I hand dyed this. So, yeah, this is one of the whips that I don't love anymore. This is um, Lady of Lake by Sarah Butcher and I started this many many years ago and I really didn't have an idea what I was doing so yeah it was really really hard and no I don't <laughs> I'm sorry but I, I I didn't know what I know now <laughs> you know it, it was really difficult and I felt you know strange <laughs> so I didn't I mean I, I, I still like the, the design I really do perhaps I could you know start it again and I have all the flosses and everything but I put the flosses away because I say you know what I I can go on with this <laughs> but yeah perhaps perhaps someday I, I will start her again and you know with a, a pre-breed pre -breed, uh, fabric uh, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, another uh, kind of uh, frustrating project, but I really like the design. It's really pretty. Okay, this is um, a Splendor Four. And I made a conversion. Uh, this is uh, what I was talking at the beginning, that the colors that I choose are not my colors anymore. <laughs> so these are really 80 colors, <laughs> like 80, 90 colors. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, there are from the 90s and the 80s. <laughs> but yeah, and I, I stitched this in uh, Lugana 25, one over one. But yeah, no, I don't like it. I, I Perhaps I could start this again, but you know, just in black or something, I don't know. It's really jolly <laughs> for me right now. So yeah, and, and perhaps the, the fabric has these weird um, spots, so <laughs> yeah, no. no not uh, uh, a project that I want to work on. Um, you know, in the future. This one is uh, Circle the Circles by Ink Circles. <laughs> um, yeah, I I use uh, you know some aquas and turquoise uh, DMC, and I mean I need a lot to stitch, but yeah, I only. Uh, are missing this I am missing this this uh, border or this outer part so yeah but I really I mean I, I lost um, the motivation for this because the colors again are not my <laughs> you know uh, I don't know but I mean it's a, a beautiful design um, I could stitch again but uh, Certainly, I'm I'm not going to start again this <laughs> and but yeah, th these colors are uh, No, I don't feel the love for this project <laughs> So yeah, and the fabric is a piece of um, um, 
28 linen opalescent but yeah it's almost done perhaps I could finish it uh, another project from many years ago um, this is um, An Angel of Dreams by Lavender and Lace and I make a conversion again with the 80s colors I don't know <laughs> very uh, you know pinks and blues and <laughs> girly but yeah in this case I, at least I have a, a beautiful face to look at and I put tape okay <laughs> the good thing is that it's really really in the border of the fabric so I can cut it but yeah <laughs> I was a professional <laughs> So yeah, this is also a piece of, of really, really loose uh, linen that I dyed. And it's a pretty design, um, but it's not something that I want to stitch right now. Who knows? Perhaps in, in a few years. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, this is uh, Angel of Dreams. Okay, this kit from Busila, it's called um, pa -pa 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 Autumn and it's really pretty i i i love it and the the kit originally came with this um aida and here i i, I think i made a mistake again because <laughs> i mean it's really pretty and it's you know according to the to the design that in the beginning i i really love so but i decided you know what i can start it again and finish it so I started again in this piece of linen and I don't like it. <laughs> so uh, why I started again, I never would know. And perhaps it's, you know, it's full uh, coverage. So the fabric is, was the least of my problems. So perhaps I could finish this as it is in this Aida. And yeah, it's really, really pretty. So, yeah, I mean, why I use another fabric? Uh, <laughs> so, this is um, Autumn by Lucila. So, yeah, I, I'm not totally um, against this pattern, but I will finish in the original uh, materials. And I will use this in some other thing. Again, with the really loose linen. I don't know where I got this. <laughs> I didn't like it. Okay, this is uh, a box. This is Blessed by Blessed with Happiness Embroidery Star Box. And yeah, I started in, or I, I stitched it in a piece of, um, I don't know, it looks like, uh, like Lugana, but really big. I don't know. <laughs> and it's like an even whip. So. I'm almost finished with all the, the five parts of the box. There are five pa parts. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I never finish it. And it's, you know, you don't need much to finish it. Perhaps I was thinking or I start to think what to stitch instead of the phrase in English. English because I start with a little uh, butterfly in a specialty stitch. So yeah, I could, you know, put uh, some, even a, a charm or, you know, something like crystals or beading in the center to finish the, the box. I don't know. <laughs> Again, uh, I really like it, but not in love anymore. <laughs> and for this project, I even, um, can dye some fab some um, flosses, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is another project that I start um, without really planning. <laughs> so this was supposed to be the cover of a DMC uh, color chart, and. I make, you know, the, the covers. <laughs> uh, this is a piece of um, 
linen 28 and I hand dye it and you know we use this design and it says chart of colors and DMC and my name in the back and the idea was to you know start uh, adding the the colors it's not uh, finished completely but uh, <laughs> I get bored with all the numbers and all the colors and and I really didn't love the 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 font for the numbers and yeah no <laughs> so I stop it but I I mean I could use these uh, covers I have the the let me I have the the current uh, DMC so perhaps I could put uh, you know finish uh, this as a cover for my my DMC so that's an idea it's it's a little smaller but I could I could figure it out how to <laughs> to to use this this uh, stitched part you know <laughs> so we'll see we'll see it's not a completely lost uh, project but I need to work on it so we'll see we'll see okay <laughs> just one box left <laughs> and this is Amy Can by Hands Across the Sea and I'm using a DMC uh, color conversion so yeah I really love it uh, the fabric it's a 40 count fabric that I dyed it's not linen it's more like a cotton mixture or something and I coffee dyed and baked this fabric so I really love and I love the colors and everything and I haven't stitched on this in a long time it's one of, of my my samplers and I have a few you know samplers now I was more you know a Mirabilia Chatelaine girl but now I have a, a few beautiful samplers okay uh, this is uh, Red Mermaid by it's a kit from RTO and I love it so much <laughs> I changed the fabric I use um, this fabric that I dyed because I want to give you know <laughs> my personal touch but yeah she's so gorgeous the colors are really really you know potent <laughs> and yeah it, it's a little hard to stitch on because it has a lot of confetti and a lot of uh, blending uh, threads and you know it's a slow project but she is amazing so yeah i want to continue stitching on her so we'll see it's red mermaid these are more uh, recent projects this is the susan rambo uh, sampler yeah this is stitched in a piece of uh, 40 count you know basic beautiful linen <laughs> stitched uh, one over two so yeah Susan Rambo uh, all the way another bag uh, I make this bag I mean I'm not really good at stitching but I really like this one <laughs> I mean I'm not really good at um, sewing <laughs> neither to stitching but okay <laughs> But I really, really like this little bag. And this is Merrily Merrily, We Welcome Spring by Blackbird Design. This is uh, stitched in a 40 count, one over two. And I hand dyed the, the fabric to give it to give it an uh, ancient look. And I love it. And I love working on this. It's really soothing and relaxing and 
the the design is so delicate and pretty and I love it <laughs> and a classic one <laughs> dead by cross stitch <laughs> with which I stopped stitching a long time ago but a beautiful design stitch it with uh, one floss of uh, DMC 4240 one over one in Aida 18 so yeah the, the the crosses are really thin and pretty and cute and I love it but I, mean, I, I was thinking in you know perhaps <laughs> finish this two pages and um, do a uh, McKenna's, <laughs> you know, when she stitched a little, uh, a, a fraction of uh, what was that, uh, dragons of Sumatra. So she said, you know what, I'm done, it's finished, and it was finished. So, yeah, perhaps I could <laughs> apply that same, you know, philosophy here and stitch it a couple more of pages and call it a finish and that will be all right because it's my project and I can do with them whatever I want <laughs> another cute bag and this is um, uh, autumn Quaker with a conversion of DMC and some flosses that I tied And I stitch just <laughs> a little uh, motifs here and there, but still a lot to do. But I really love this uh, this design and the colors and everything. Really pretty. So yeah, the fabric is a piece that I tied, a 40 count wheel fabric. <laughs> and that's my Autumn Quakers. by long dog sampler this is game of swan i'm doing monochromatic uh, with a piece of uh, gutterman sulky in 407 so yeah the fabric it's uh, 38 fabric that we found here in in our city and I hand dye it and it looks um, it is more uh, burn in real life let me see if I can no no you can really tell the colors are well, it's it's the magic of this project. <laughs> you you will um, see different colors <laughs> according to the light. But yeah, this is Game of Swans. And finally, finally, <laughs> the last bag. Yeah, also a pretty pretty bag. This is a three thing sampler by Moya Blackburn. And I'm stitching this with DMC. I make the the translation of the center center phrase, central phrase, and it's pretty. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> um, I I reach the middle of the design. I need to finish the other middle, but I'm going. I'm <laughs> I, I in love with this project. It's so gorgeous. I make some um, conversion, some adaptation. I put four little birds here because I have four kids. And yeah, the, the Spanish phrase. And I add some motifs because the, the words were different. The, the spacing between, between, between the words were different and was different and yeah. And I make a mistake here in the central uh, baskets, but who cares? <laughs> who knows? Just me and now you, because I told you, but 
I love it. <laughs> this this one, you know, I can say it's finished. Who can say it's not finished? <laughs> I mean you, but also me, but well, you get it. But I could finish right here. It's gorgeous. It's, you know, just put the, the flowers here and it's going to be our little secret. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so yeah. That is my last whip, hopefully, apparently. I hope I don't forget any other uh, project. And that's it. I, <laughs> I'm going to, I, I was, you know, writing the, all the, the name of the projects and I'm finally going to count. Um, that is not really important. It's just a fun exercise to, you know, I don't, I don't feel bad for my whips. I don't feel bad if there are too many or too little, uh, too little. Uh, I mean, I, I enjoy uh, stitching on almost all of them. I can, now I can tell you that I love all of them because that's not the true, but most of them I, I really, really enjoyed it. And it was, an adventure and a pleasure to start all of them and you know making conversion and finding the right um, fabric and the flosses and according with the things and the materials that I have in hand you know it was always fun to do that so yeah <laughs> I'm going to put the total here uh, <laughs> for your amusement And that's it. I will see you in my next video, hopefully with a surprise. I can promise much, but yeah, <laughs> I'm working on something and I'm really, really anxious to show you. So yeah, all my love. I This has been uh, a really difficult weeks, these uh, last weeks in the Spanish uh, groups and floss tubes um, a lot of misunderstanding and you know we all have opinions and sometimes it's difficult to combine those opinions with with others and it's difficult the communication between between people I mean it's difficult in person uh, more in, in through through the internet so yeah I want to to send uh, a big big hug to all my my spanish and latin american teachers i love you so so much and i'm so so glad of this community and i know i'm talking to you in english uh, to all my my english friends and american friends but the community is just one we are all teachers and it's a wonderful and a lovely thing that the, this this is teaching that we do is just one 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 cross but it can mean the world for many of us so yeah all my love i love you very very much and i will see you in my next video bye bye <laughs>